Sunday was Groundhog Day, and like at the end of the Bill Murray film, it appears that we have finally broken the cycle of reliving the same day over and over again after three years. Yesterday was the Iowa caucus, kicking off the countdown to the 2020 election. Tonight is the State of the Union address, and tomorrow the Senate will officially put an end to this impeachment circus. I think Lindsey Graham 2.0 spoke for us all when he described the situation like this. And you know what I believe about all this? It was a bunch of partisan bullshit in the House. It continued in the Senate. It's going to end Wednesday. The president's going to get acquitted. It's going to blow up in their face. That's what I think this is all about. You know what? I'm glad you said it. If I say it, I'm going to have to deal with it at work for the next whatever well, many days. Problem. I'm glad that you said it. your problem. Because you know what it is? <laughs> I bleeped that because I try to keep this channel family friendly. But as you can tell, Lindsey Graham is over it. Jake Tapper was almost in tears last week when he learned that the Senate would not drag this out any longer by bringing any more clowns in to complain about the president. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Jeffrey Tubin, CNN's senior legal analyst, how did the Democrats' plan turn out? Give us the big picture right now of what we're, what we're seeing. Trump won. I mean, you know, he's going to win this trial. He, he won uh, on the issue of witnesses. He's going to get acquitted. And um, that, that's how history will remember what, what went on here. Apparently nobody told Kamala Harris, however, because she's still yucking it up. Here she is getting scolded by the teacher, Mr. Schumer. As at least a partial victory that you have a Republican like Lam uh, now, I wouldn't be surprised if I would act immature in what's supposed to be a very serious matter, but I'm just a guy on a laptop in my kitchen making YouTube videos. I'm not a United States Senator. I mean, what's next? Are the Democrats get a quote from Harry Potter during their closing remarks at the impeachment hearing? <laughs> Wait, what's this? What we can always control are our choices. It's in that spirit that hanging in my son's room is a quote from Harry Potter. The quote is from Professor Dumbledore, who said, It is our choices that show who we truly are, far more than our abilities. This trial will soon be over, but there will be many choices for all of us in the days ahead. That was a very persuasive presentation, Congressman Crow from Colorado. Let's see if Adam Schiff could beat that. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? But if it were not impeachable, then a whole range of utterly unacceptable conduct in a president would now be beyond reach. Trump could offer Alaska to the Russians in exchange for support in the next election or decide to move to Mar-a-Lago permanently and let Jared Kushner run the country. He's just going to give Alaska away, huh? <laughs> Poor Adam Schiff has been watching way too much cable news. The Dershowitz argument, frankly, would unleash a monster. More aptly, it would unleash a monarch. He's a functionally a monarch. The defense team said, in essence, that Donald Trump is a king. He believes he's king now. Mm -hmm. We are not supposed to have a king. That was the main thing, other than, you know, not wanting to have equal rights for women and black people and Native Americans. The, the founders didn't want a king. Now what we have is we have a constitutional monarchy, or a constitutional autocracy, where Donald Trump is the supreme element of this state, like North Korea. The president will see himself as uh, one who can emulate right. that, kind, that of kind of monarchial behavior. power. Find me a president who has this, who has had this much political power. This is going to reverberate for the dysfunction of the Senate and the empowerment of an imperial presidency mm. for who knows how far into the future. Because they know demographically they're losing out, that they're not going to be able to maintain the white Christian America. Do you believe that because of that, they have now essentially made Donald Trump into a king? Yes. There's <laughs> absolutely. They will embrace Donald Trump as a king. I'm sorry, but it's Emperor Trump to you clowns. This is just too much fun. I can't wait till the State of the Union address tonight. What's not fun, however, is YouTube demonetizing my videos, like yesterday's, which many of you consider to be one of my greatest of all time. If you missed it, there was an original song that I wrote and performed, and a historic voiceover that you're not going to want to miss. But it's videos like those which are destined to be demonetized. So this year, sponsor my channel for 5 or 10 bucks a month through Patreon or by becoming a YouTube member by clicking the Join button down below the video. Your monthly contribution helps offset the demonetization issues and helps me pay my awesome editor who makes these videos look so good. 
So a big thanks to all you guys who already sponsored the channel, and if you want to help out, click the links in the description below, and check them out!